Without government, are we all doomed to live under mob rule? Let's go talk about it. So I was perusing some of the Liberty pages that I follow on Facebook the other day, and someone had made a post um, that was essentially, all I really want is a government that respects my rights. And I replied to that with the following comment. Government, by its very existence, is a violation of someone's rights. The only solution is no government at all, voluntary interactions, and natural rights of self-protection. In my view, I believe this is what is consistent with the non-aggression principle, nonviolent communication, individual autonomy. And I, somewhat predictably, received a couple of responses. Um, this one I thought was the most on the nose, so I'm going to highlight it. The response was, and it degenerates into mob rule every time. It's called history, and you are proof we are still recovering from it. Now, as much as I'm confused at what it means that I'm proof that we're still recovering from history, I wanted to just kind of address specifically this argument that without government, we would always degenerate into mob rule or that this has happened throughout all of history, setting aside the fact that obviously this guy can't speak for human societies throughout all of history because this statement is just really not true. Maybe we'll discuss that another time. But for now, let's look again at some definitions um, for mob rule. And the first one is control of a political situation by those outside the conventional or lawful realm, typically involving violence and intimidation. So already with this definition, you can see that they're trying to establish mob rule as something that exists outside of the lawful political system. And we're going to address why that's ironic and intentional in just a moment, but let's look at one more definition. The fact or state of large groups of people acting without the consent of the government, authorities, etc. I did a different video on how authority is an illusion. Go look at that if you want to get more information about that. But let's look at these two definitions where they are taking the concept of what you're supposed to fear, which is a group of people essentially using violence to control others, but then going out of their way to explicitly exclude government from that group. And I believe you can understand the reason why is because government, by its very nature, is a mob, a group of people that is attempting to rule over everyone using violence and authority. So the idea that without government, we would be under the control of mob rule is somewhat hilariously ironic because government, by its very definition, is a mob rule, a mob of people ruling over you, with the, of course, caveat that the government schooling approved and societally approved definitions of mob rule have carved themselves out an exception from that. So what is the difference between mob rule and government? Well, government has decided that they by virtue of giving themselves the label of government, do not qualify as mob rule. So let's take one step beyond that for what you're often told is the boogeyman that you get without that, which is anarchy. Now, anarchy, if you break it down from the Greek roots, comes from an, meaning without, and archos, meaning ruler. So the word anarchy literally means without rulers. In common use, it's often used as something bad, something akin to chaos or rioting, right? You don't often hear people talking about anarchy in terms of someone growing their own source of food on their own land or peacefully interacting with other people. Whenever there's a riot or some giant act of violence, they say, oh, it's anarchy. Now, this is where propaganda starts to get into the mix and an entire westernized society, a uh, uh, government system, has established that Mob rule is bad, and mob rule is violent control by anyone other than the government. Government is violent control by the government. And anarchy is chaos because without rulers, some small group would rule over us violently. Now, 
This may seem strange in your brain, all of your, all of your programming from your entire lifetime of being told the difference, like the government protects you and keeps you safe and that anarchy is bad and people are gonna Mad Max to your door and kill you and steal your stuff. You're like, oh, that doesn't make sense. That's not what I've been taught my entire life. Well, that's intentional, right? And then the further argument is, okay, well, if anarchy worked, why doesn't it exist anywhere? And the argument to that, my response to that is always, anarchy is the default state that you operate in every day. Matter of fact, if you think about your average day, I would wager that government has very little to no impact on your day-to-day -day operations. Unless you're being actively punished or robbed through your taxes or you know, harassed by the enforcers of the state for nonviolent crimes, your average day involves you voluntarily interacting with other people. You go to a job that you agreed to go to voluntarily, you weren't forced to go there. You work with people voluntarily. It's not always conflict free, but you do work together in a way that doesn't involve using violence against each other um, to achieve something. You go home, you interact with people in your life that you voluntarily associate with. You really, on a average basis, are in a state of anarchy far more than you are in a state of any kind of being ruled. So I'm gonna try and keep it short here. We can get into more of these uh, concepts deeper in the future. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to address this idea that, that without government, there would be mob rule and anarchy. And without government, there would be anarchy, which would be great. Free, voluntary association between individuals. But there is not, because with government, there is only the violent control of everyone through a small group of people. And if you really think mob rule is a bad idea, then you really should take a look at what government does and realize that they are exactly the same, if not worse, because they've excluded themselves from the definition of what is morally wrong with mob rule. If you guys wanna see that video that I talked about on why all authority is an illusion, you can take a click here somewhere on, the, on another video. And otherwise, thank you guys for sticking around and I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day.